Hello everyone, welcome back to Alchus Plays uh, Minecraft Stone Block 2, the mod pack with do things. <laughs> I've been playing off camera a while and that stuff will go up on YouTube soon, but for once this is actually, uh, I'm recording it pretty much straight away. So I haven't put that together yet so you can't see it, but go check out the Zen Minecraft episodes with no commentary, just digging and making stuff. I've done a lot though. I've made several more of these travel anchors which we like so much. And over here I've done a small amount down here. What I've done is I've added these translocators that we had from before to remember when we were using the ender chests. All they're doing is pulling stuff out of these and putting them into the interface. Remember, anything you put into this ME interface, it gets immediately taken into the system because it's not supposed to be there, right? Uh, incidentally, uh, you can put something in these and it will force one of those things to be in here. So it works both ways. Uh, I'll show you that. But I mean, have we got one of these in here? Yes. So this will try and force 15 seared stone to be in the thing that has worked. And as soon as I take that out, it goes away. So um, by doing things like this, you can basically use this as a chest that's constantly refilling itself uh, and constantly use something like the translocator to pull things out of an interface and put them in somewhere else. That's not what we're going to be doing right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've done a lot more stuff, so we should have a look. Uh, over here, I've moved the mob farm. Here it is. I've changed it completely. It used to be over there, which is now Pizza Express. There's a creeper in my pizza express. Get out of it. Ah, I claim this space so you can't break it. Ha ha ha! Screw you, creeper. Let's have F7. See where you spawned. Oh, literally right there. Very well. Uh, this is going to be a place where I'm going to put the Tinker's Construct stuff. I had a change of heart. In the previous episode, I said, you know what? We were going to make loads of these... Um, do you remember these Tinker's thingies that we made this here? Uh, this, by the way, is... Why is there? Must have broken a torch. What a mistake to make it. Um, I have been filling this thing up with cobblestone, and that is currently on its way, melting these down and turning it into those seared blocks that I had in my inventory just now. I said we shouldn't really use these for ore because the stuff that we had downstairs is so much better. It can get up to five times duplication. Yes, but then I realized I hate that idea. You know, this thing here is doubling, ooh, doubling them already. Um, so why, like, who, whatever, right? Just make more, get more iron, make more ores. All this stuff is cool. Um, it's going to be way more fun to have a whole bunch of Tinker's things in here, accepting uh, all the different types of ores and me dropping them in and forcing them in and all that sort of thing. Uh, than it would have been to just have a, like five machines doing that same thing. We want to make this big and bold and stupid, not simple and small. The mob farm, here's the thing. I have been uh, popping this stuff down here, trying to turn as many skeletons as I can into um, wither skeletons. There's... Quiet. Really? What a noise. Um, I've... I, I, I won an extra candle from one of the million quests I accidentally completed. So I, I put the other water candle in there, which I think is lit. You have to trust me, I'm pretty sure it's lit. Unfortunately, there appears to be a bug where it will just spawn anywhere. <laughs> it doesn't care. Um, so mobs keep appearing in the walls. And I had a look at it, and I think that there may be an update to the thing. It's still not helped, though. Look at these. They're not properly attached. Spreading this stuff out has had some effect. I, I, I'm starting to think that maybe just we need to... Well, uh, first of all, I'll try updating the pack. That might have something to do with it. It might have had an update, so things might be a little bit better than they were before. Or oh, that energy conduit is not connected to that energy. Ooh. Look. <laughs> extract. Insert extract, yes. And then you connect to you. Correct. And then you connect. Aha. Uh -huh. um, uh, you see, when it's visually not correct, I'm not sure if it's actually working. Um, did we get what we wanted from that? I don't know. Let's. Sh I'll show you what we've done. I've hooked this up pretty much as it was before. So the liquids are all going down here. First that, then that, then that, and then finally a trash can for anything that doesn't fit in these. I've hooked these things all back up to the controller as they were before. So this has the highest priority of all of the possible destinations for the item conduits. The next destination is, I think, this one here, but I can't just right-click on it to show you. That should be number two. Number one is this chest here, which is the same storage crate as I had last time. I'll take this growth crystal, thank you. Um, 
really hoping to get a piece of cursed earth because uh, then we can actually start just spawning mobs in here at infinitum and then finally after all of that we have priority zero is actually the same interface that i've applied here so we've dragged the power all the way over that's not everything we've dragged the me cables all the way over as well this is ludicrous by the way this is exactly what i wanted this place to be like uh, that comes through the wall there that comes through down here this all goes down here and then this connects to the edge of this so i've reworked our me controller now five of the six sides are in use and they generally do the thing in the direction that they're pointing in so this one does the stuff down there this one on top does the stuff up there and that one on the far side does those things over there this one at the bottom is doing these because i have added a few new crafting storage thing is you've seen me make those before i didn't really think it was that important that you saw me do it again and again and again so we won't uh, go into that too much um and then oh i upgraded this as well the reason i upgraded this is that if you shift right click this in the air you can pick more than one target and didn't cost me too much to do so so that was worth doing as well again go and have a look at the uh zen minecraft uh, episode which you will see me do all that stuff quote unquote off camera i'm not going to be commentating or anything so then we have this which is basically where everything's landing that i don't know what to do with like uh this with a skeleton skull for example this enderman head these things that i was putting in before smart cables and stuff like that all this stuff uh it's just landing in here because there's no effort to live black quartz you have a home you not spooky scary skeleton hey what does that do Tainer with a skeleton skull cool 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 uh no you don't have a play now you do and then so the other things i, I want to do there's more things i need to do with the me system one of which is to hook this up and then finally this because this trash can is do you remember this really complicated situation we had where we tried to do all of that to make sure things got voided etc yeah we could probably just export stuff that we don't want <laughs> that's what i was thinking there um or excuse me the alternative is to have better storage here this is the lowest priority at the moment um have better storage for the me system and then just void anything that doesn't fit in the me system which is dangerous at this point but in future it will not be dangerous because we'll have much better storage right uh the only problem with that is that i'm running out at an incredible rate i'm running out of uh the actual me cables that we need so can you hear that there's things in the walls dying um so it's not working ideally well right now please put this down make a way to skellington and also I, I i put the lights back but that doesn't seem to make any freaking effect because those water candles do what the heck they want <laughs> i think uh I, I looked when i was looking at the water candles i did notice that some people were asking how to automate them in stone block too so i think what they're trying to do is let these light that let this uh lever also turn the candles off and then turn them back on again later that seems difficult one other thing i did is to put these travel anchors up on the way to the mining dimension but they're not loading uh something's gone wrong yet again so that's not working <laughs> um there's one like there that i should be able to jump to it doesn't exist and then there's another one where you jump to from there because the, the, the top of the world is too far away for the travel anchors but it's not too far away for two travel anchors so all i've really done there is uh, use my advanced porter and just set the thingy and then i can go as i want uh what i should do actually let's do that i'll show you what i've had to do to make this work is to bring in power early on very very early on we created a travel destination a teleport destination this matter receiver for this dimension but what we didn't think of doing is powering it so it takes 100 krf and this has 1.9 mega rf this had 2 million rf in it i'm pretty sure that this is going to use power whenever i teleport but this I, I have no idea of exactly literally how much is in it so every time we do this teleportation to this destination it has to have power or it won't be able to reconstitute you and you'll die but it doesn't seem to be using that much so maybe it only needs to have that much power we'll use it a few times and see what happens so I don't need those other travel anchors. I think I picked them up again, actually. So that's probably what I did. They're not there right now because I gave up on them. Uh, and I, I have them 
or I've reused them or something like that. Anyway, what we're going to do in this episode, having talked about my changes for the literally 10 minutes right now, we are going to start some gardening. I'm not really 100% fully prepared for this. We want to start doing things like this, but way better. So, how? Yeah, good question. One of the things that concerns me right now, right here, Superstar DJ, here we go, is... We need power in this area to do all the things that we're going to want to do. For example, these places are, seem like good places to put machines that will be auto-harvesting all of the stuff. Nezpa. Or maybe put them at the end or, and every so often on the way. Don't really know, haven't worked out, but in order to do that, like we know about this thing, this needs power. It's growing enderpearls for us, or it would be, but I've got these things growing enderpearls anyway. Cow, you're just stupid. Get out of here. Um, but again, auto-harvesting, that's all we need here. Um, so, let us begin by collecting ourselves these number of leadstone conduits, because I think what I might just do is send the power from the one that I made here, which is going that way, just straight down the middle. Boom, boom, boom. Bob's your uncle. Right? How does that sound? Sounds good to me. Uh, let's go to the stacks and see how many leadstones we've got, because 56 should be more than enough, actually. That's interesting and good. Uh, let's go back to the mob farm. Is this enderman head? Didn't I put an enderman head in here? Oh, okay, fine. Just checking. I mean, at least the things that I'm expecting to happen are happening. Like, th this thing hasn't gone horribly wrong. Only a couple of these have gone horribly wrong. It's not It's not the end of the world. Uh, and when I... I think there's a chunk boundary here. So when I step... This is all mine and chunk loaded, etc. I believe. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all good, man. So, uh, get rid of that. Let us bring this stuff over to here. Shall we? Shall we not? Put this here. So we're going to want to do it this way. Basically, I want to make sure that I line it up. So... This is the topmost row there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I, I remembered my shortcut for this, so I'm going to do it this way. But dig this hole. I'm a bat. I'm tiny. Oh, of course you are. Well, how many of these do I have? Enough. <laughs> um, dig down. Put back. Dig. I don't mind it being one floor, what one level down. Uh, it should be okay. I, I would prefer the aesthetic of not having to change the angle of this over the aesthetic of having to uh, of not having to put a hole there. So that's my goal right now. We will go back to human shape, such as it is. Dig this hole out and then start putting these down here. This is going to be feeding our power. What we might want to do is make another um, leadstone energy, another basic energy cube. Because it may be another case where we have to use Ender IO as a sort of go-between to get all the cables to fit together, which is it's not the end of the world. It's just not the idealiest thing in the world either. So how are we going to deal with this? Well, there's a few things we're going to need to do. First of all, we need way more of these to make it worthwhile. Secondly, we need a thing that can actually pick up the plants. And thirdly, we're going to have to deal with the problem that we have, which is that there's not enough ME cable for me to reach all the way over here, which is another thing we're going to have to run down here, actually. Um, let's actually just do that. Take this out. I'll have a sort of a double cable thing going on here. Whew. Um, making the ME cable turns out to be really annoying because I don't really know how you make flux, uh, fluids crystals. Crystal which is this one. I mean, there's a pure one as well, but I don't care. Uh, I, I do know you drop one charged nether quartz and one nether quartz and one redstone into a puddle next to one another and wait a moment to receive two flux crystals, which is great. But that seems to be the only thing I can do. I can, apart from this, the fluid essence, that makes us six. So if we can get something like this early on, which is tier four seeds, right? Which is tier four crafting seeds, which is tier three, which is tier, three, which is tier one. Um, but we still need to start the crops with those to actually get an income to start making it in the first place. And we need the infrastructure to allow us to combine those into Fluix crystals in the first place. So for now, I think we're just going to have to keep using water, which is uh, not very good. So let's have a look at a bucket. Um, unfortunately, we are going to have to just keep using water. 
I mean, we've got plenty of it. You know, I can just come over and dump it in there if I really wanted to, which I might actually do. Uh, and what I might do is just make a stack at a time. Nether quartz, charged surface quartz, and redstone. This can go away. Uh, this can come with me, actually. This can go away, this can go away. Because the other thing we want to do is put drawers up in the greenhouse to hold all of our like flowery things, right? Because, again, the problem with these stacks is they're all very well and good for things like raw materials and resources and stuff. But anything that's appropriate to an area should be in that area. In my humble opinion, in my not-so-humble opinion. So let's do this first. Drop, drop, drop. Wait for that to turn into two stacks of fluid crystals. Hopefully pop. <laughs> That's quite entertaining. And knit back. And create some... So I'm going to come back in a couple of minutes when I finish creating enough network cable to get to the other end. And I'll bring a few more things across. Come back when I've set that boring stuff up. Uh, yeah, I'll see you in a minute. One thing I did want to show you is not just did I... Uh, add crafting CPUs so that we can do more crafting at once. I also added actual crafting. Come down here and let me show you. This here is another thing on this channel which is going to get overloaded soon because that's 7 of 8. This interface is actually how it works. I've put patterns in here. These patterns are very similar to these patterns except these are crafting patterns and this is a crafter. A molecular assembler indeed. You can tell it that it can do a single thing and in fact I'm pretty sure you can just put a pattern in there and ask it to do stuff if you want that to be a channel but this isn't a channel. The channel is being used by this, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, that might be two channels, which is sad, but that's okay. Um, this will assemble these things. So an encoder pattern or for the MK, the ME storage component at 1K, we've got two annihilation cores and two formation cores. So I can create those things if I really want to. If I pop over here, I'll show you what I'm about to do. Um, I've put these things up and 24, 48 drawers in the wall, and then a drawer controller, which I should have locked by now, actually. So let's also get the drawer thingy, but this needs to have a storage bus on it <clears throat> so that we can do the same thing with this set of drawers as we did with the stacks themselves, i.e. put a storage bus on it and then treat the entire set of drawers as a storage unit that the ME system can use. So this thing here is actually connected all the way over there via a ludicrous network of wires, which probably could have been done better, but never mind. Um, I mean, cable spaghetti is what this whole whole, whole series is going to be about, so get used to it. Um, we need to make a storage bus, right? Which is an interface. How much of this do we have? None. Cool. So I will show you. In order to make an interface, we need an annihilation core, an, an annihilation core, and a formation core. But we only have the formation core. So if I search for annihilation core, I craft one. Go, it's going to have to... Uh, what? Didn't I just put like a whole bunch of fluids crystals in here? Oh, they're, they're in my inventory. Let's try this again. Next. I've got enough of those, enough of those, enough of those. It would know how to craft the logic processor because we've already taught it that. We've seen that. Now it knows how to craft fluix dust because we taught it that from downstairs. Down there somewhere. So there's going to pulverize one of those, and now we can see it has done all that. And there we go. We've got annihilation cores, and we can make our interface. That's how this works. That is um, capable of. Oops, wrong one. This here is capable of. One, two, three, four, seven, nine. You can make nine things, but you can put more than one interface on the thing. That is six interfaces altogether. Oh dear. Plus, I believe this is also taking up a channel, even though that's naughty. I figure it not to. So that's going to basically need a dedicated cable all on its own. That's something we will come back to. We will talk about that in a future episode. Um, I also started digging out a bit of a hole here. Basically, I was going to put these over there, but I ran out of cable and it stopped there, so I just connected them up. Don't worry about it. Uh, back to the groundstone. I'll see you in a minute. All right, I'm just double checking this cable. It goes all the way down here. Zoom, and then zoom, and then goes up over here so we want to make sure that this cable which does everything over there is not overloaded three of eight channels so that should be the interface yon oh what's the other one there's an interface down here oh and a storage bus i think so this 
uh, yes, that's right. This drawer controller I've actually set up as a storage bus. So anything I put into my um, AE system all the way down there, even if I do it via the um, the, the, the well, the ender pouch is not yet hooked up to the AE system, which is another future endeavor. But uh, even if I were to do that, oh, a skeleton. He's turned into a wither skeleton who then gives me what I need. What if I like kill you normally? I do that. Oh no. Do I have to kill this thing normally to be likely to get a drop? A drop? I don't know. Oh, with a dust. A loot crate. I wonder if they can come out of loot crates. Okay. Well, <laughs> As expected. So this is opening my loot crate, but I've not actually exported anything out of there into there. So maybe we should do that uh, as well. But uh, I'll fix that off camera. Um, double click this. Everything goes in there. Perfect. So anything that I've dumped into my AE system that can fit in here, the the storage bus back here has a higher priority than everything else, i.e. The, the, the lame one that... Basically, this is the only one that has a low priority. Yes. So everything else will... Just take what it can. I did notice that there's a couple of things over here that have been duplicated by things over there. That's okay. We'll get around to it. Don't worry. Uh, I picked up the only things over here that fitted uh, in the area over there. I'm not sure what we've done. So we've only used three. This this here only is three of the very many eight that we can fit on here. And this is one of them. So this, again, has a priority of ten. So anything that will go in these ones will go in here for preference Ooh. over that that storage crate in the corner and anything that ends up in the storage crate that should be in here I'll just bring over here because I'm right next to the teleporter that'll let mm. me do so. So I have put in my supreme uh, inferior prudential essence and seeds and we really really need to start turning these into more of them mm. because obviously we've been doing this a lot right and that will go in there. Oops. Can I undo that? <laughs> That's the one thing I should not have done that. Yes. So that'll go into here. Five. Great, now what? Well, we want to put some sort of auto-harvesting in here, which is grand. And also, I won this growth crystal. So if I have a look down here, there may already be a growth crystal in this area. But if we have more than one, there is. I have another one. That's twice as good. And also, I've been putting dirt in here. So that's easy to not get ruined by. I need a hoe. Give me a hoe. Still have a hoe? <laughs> or, or didn't I make a, a mattock at some point? Remember this as well, by the way. My birthday pickaxe name. I think that's what I got a cake from. I have a stone hammer. I haven't used that for a long time. I haven't used any of these for a long time, to be fair. Uh, hoe. Math. Oh, I, uh, make one. <laughs> make a hoe. He's. Ow. Oh. Make me this. It's only going to have to be for now. Right? Uh, you go in there, you go in there, you... I picked these two up, but I don't know if I should have. And then, what we're going to want to do is start planting these seeds, basically. The reason for this is that we'll get more of them. I, 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 I so believe. I'm not 100% sure, and I'm ill confident in my abilities. Oh, I got a worm. A worm, I believe, improves the fertility of the soil. Oh! I didn't know you did that. That's grand. So this thing is going to start growing uh, eventually. Yeah, there we go. There's things we can do to improve this. Maybe make a sprinkler. Maybe make this, that, and the other. Whatever. Didn't we have a watering can? Let's go and get that. Is that still in here? I bet my hose in here, actually. All these things that we should be storing in drawers. I might replace all of this with drawers as well, by the way. Um, so... Watch out for that. There's a hoe here. There are two hoes here. So now I've got three. <laughs> I probably did that last time. And you are all watching. And you're just telling me, hey, you put it in that dedicated place that you have for hoes. Uh, I'm running around. Is it the worm doing that or is it me? Don't know. It's going nice and fast, actually. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. Um, still this one chest over here. There's so much that we haven't tidied up from our very early foray into this world. Uh, yeah, it is in here. Content saved. Look at all this. Signalum conversion kit. How long have I had that? Yet another hoe. <laughs> My dude, what is wrong with you? 
a lot of this stuff can probably go into the um, AE system now, actually. Mechanical crafter. How do we use this? I don't know. Where's it from? EU2. Oh, that's probably a thing. What's well, items paper time too? Well, block of insanium essence. It's just, this has been giving us the world on a platter and we've been ignoring it. We've been fu, fooey, puh, couldn't care less. If we do this, it's going to turn into... Uh, I think we can make Inferium seeds just by um, using Inferium on normal seeds. So we'll try that. Inferium seeds. Here, what, oh, there's tiers of Inferium seed? Mm. Yes, seeds surrounded by Inferium. So we just need to do this off camera a lot. And we'll be grand. Uh, but again... Effort. We'll do it later. There's some more iron. So <laughs> we get to the point where iron is not a problem. It's already not a problem. And uh, so I want to get up to this. And then we want to get up to Prudentium Seed. So this is going to be something I do between episodes. Uh, so do we have Prudentium Seeds or can we only create it? I think we can only create Prudentium. Hmm. Inferium, Prudentium, Intermedium, Superium, Supremium, Insanium. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Hopefully this is six along, and I didn't even plan that. So this goes here. That's the type of, uh, we can put different seeds here. Maybe I should have done this the other way around. I don't know. There's some more of that. Thank you very much. And we have so much of this. Just do it. I'm not even going to wait for my life to be over. Not the right seeds, not the right seeds. Give me some seeds. Cow bait. Not... Normal seeds, no? Did I actually ever get just wheat seeds? Is this wheat? Yes. But this isn't, this is rice. So you lot need to grow. But it's really, really boring. <laughs> come on! Give me more, give me more, come on. Come on, you can do it. Why are you not growing at all? What's the matter with you? I think this watering counts for. My good of my health. Get growing. Seeds. I'll do. Uh, if we wrap these around. Where did my seeds go? Don't I just get a bunch of seeds? Just wheat. Seeds. Two wheat. Fair enough. Give me some seeds. And uh, some more wheat was in here. Fake wheat. I will do more of this off camera, but you get the idea. So if we wrap a bunch of these around two of these, we get more inferium seeds and we can start planting them uh, and increase our yield, which is going to be important. Because uh, <laughs> the thing about inferium is. This is one of those factors of eight things, right? It's eight to make one of these. And it's eight of those to make one of those, which means it's 64 of one of those to make one of those. So one stack of those turns into one of these, which means that we have slightly less than one stack of these. Let's put everything in there. Three stacks, so we can make three of these. We need to get to these. That is a ludicrous amount of insanium. That's an insane amount. Well, that's insanium. It's a ludicrous amount of inferium to get to insanium. Indeed, it's an insane amount of inferium to get to insanium, which is why we need this to go a lot faster. Which we can do, but not right now. So, uh, we'll have to tech up to that point is basically the problem. I think we'll get there eventually, and I'm going to do a lot of that work off camera, obviously, but, you know, now I can do four at once. Big whoop. The next thing we're going to start doing then, in the next episode, we're going to start putting together some machines to make this happen for us, and I'll show you what those machines are, because they are from Industrial four going so it's a bunch of these <laughs> which ones good flipping question um one of these a plant gatherer and a plant fertilizer that's two of them actually except rain drive whoa uh and a lily any tall mystical flowers from britannia britannia it 
doesn't say it can harvest. But I want it to har harvest. I'm going to have to try this off camera. If this doesn't work, because this seems to work on anything. If this doesn't work, I'm sure there are options. I just don't know what they are. <laughs> right off the top of my head. So we'll see. I'll try this off camera in my uh, test world and see if that does work. Because it doesn't say it does work. But it, it might do. We can try it. Uh, and then... Oh, any Minecraft style crop. So that might be a Minecraft style crop, to be fair. We'll try it. Uh, and then this plant fertilizer. These are quite simple. It's a machine frame, which we've made a million of. Uh, it's plastic, which we've got a bunch of. Iron gears. And then in this one... Uh, where are you, Stabby? There we are. Uh... Iron ho iron thingies in a machine case, which is a blocker. Easy, you know. I almost tempted to do it off camera just because it's so easy. And then what we need to do is figure out where we can put it because the range upgrade, which is another thing we're going to want to add into this. Uh, we have some of these already. Adult filter. <laughs> Turn that off. Government. Uh, I believe it's the tier three one that is the cheap one, made of tin, whereas the tier one 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 is actually lapis. So a little bit more expensive if you consider the lapis is harder to find than tin which it is uh, i don't know which one we want so i'm going to try that in my test world two and then because the other thing is it's not a very big greenhouse right maybe we sort of pivot this make the wall go that way all along there and just have this whole place be a lot bigger don't know i don't mind using up the resources to be honest to have a whole bunch more stuff the only difficulty is that the more uh units that we have the more power we use, the more uh, a uh, channels that we use, and blah blah blah. We we don't really want to go to that much effort because it's gonna we're gonna run out. <laughs> sort of more of patience than anything else, but we're still gonna run out of it. Uh, let me see if we can win something from here before the, the day is up. There's a lot of zombies, but not very many um, skeletons in there. Can't be up. I never noticed. What? What's all that noise? I want this wither skeleton to die by my hand, and then we can pick this. There we go. Anything? No, but possible that it went in the machine. We should check. I don't think this machine. Ooh. Interesting. Is he full? No. Is he working? Fact. Why can't you go anywhere? Insert priority three. Insert priority zero. Insert on green. On green. This is working just now. On green. Extract on green. Round robin. this out. No? Put it back. <laughs> Obviously. Are you going to hold gunpowder? Yes. In fact, you can hold gunpowder. So what is wrong with you? Uh, of course, I don't have my Yetta wrench. What are you? A zombie. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know why you think you're stuffed. Get it. Bit of debugging time and things spawning in the bloody world all the flipping time. Uh, let's. Oh, the Yetta wrench tried to break that. Luckily, it failed. Um, we that all these things will end up going in the greenhouse when we do it in the future. But for now, just let it be. Let it be, brother. Probably could have kept that. Um, this two. Then go to check. Yes. There we go. Connected. You should be connected at all. Get off. Uh. Everything connected. It only seems to be. No item conduits here at all, apparently. I find hard to believe. 
Oh right, no, 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 because this doesn't this doesn't pick up any items. Yeah, that's just liquid. Oh, it's empty now. Don't know what you were, but you're dead now. So, <laughs> well done, me. Also, I've got this. So let me go and let me fix some of this off camera. Well, thank you for watching. Sorry for waffling on a little bit at the end because it's nice to have a little bit of a sort of a fix up at the end, just to make sure everything's working working well. So, thanks for watching. Next episode. Do a little bit of machinery, see if we can get those crops coming in thick and fast, and then we can start looking at uh, tearing up to the Insanium Essence and also getting some of those higher tier seeds so that we don't worry about going mining all the time to actually get our stuff. So, thanks for watching. Until the next time, I'll see you.